Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Matador and we're here with another Grand Theft Audio V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back guys, this video is all about on how to install your custom pens, girlfriend and boyfriend mod inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always, make sure you download all of the requirements that's inside my description below and make sure that your requirements is the latest version. So before we do get straight into it, okay, I've been getting so many comments from people saying that the mod does not work, the mod keeps on crashing and the menu doesn't open and there's a lot of bugs on this mod so I have finally fixed the solution for you guys and it now works okay guys so make sure you guys listen very very carefully so you guys know what to do okay so here we go okay I have found a fixed solution for you guys okay to keep you guys happy so all you guys gotta do is download all of the requirements that's inside my description below we are going to start this tutorial inside a clean folder. So once you guys have downloaded all of the requirements, download this mod, I will leave this mod inside my description below so you guys can download it. Once you guys have completed that, then all you guys gotta do next, okay, is go to your, your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location. Now, as you guys can see, I've got a complete clean folder of these absolutely no mods in here. So, in order for, for me to start the okay, game, we need to connect this folder to OpenIV. So, go to OpenIV, and then once the OpenIV is open, go to Grand Theft Auto V Windows. Remember, guys, we are starting on a clean folder, so you guys know the proof that it does work. And then go to your tools. Go to ASI Manager and then install ASI Loader, install OpenIV.ASI and then select Yes, then install Open Camera, then close your application and then close your, your OpenIV. Now we have fully installed OpenIV inside our Grand Theft Auto V folder. The next thing, thing that we are going to do is that we are going to install the requirements. So make sure that your requirements is the latest version. Okay, so open up your script hook V extract folder. Go to your bin folder and select input 8.dll and script hook V.dll. Drag both files inside your Grand Theft Audio V main folder. This application will pop up just replace both files and then open up your script hook v.net extract folder and now select script hook v.net.asi.dll and .xml drag those three files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder now we are going to install our trainers open up your trainer v extract folder Select trainer v.asi and .ini, drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Open up your menu extract folder, select menu stuff folder and menu.asi, drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now this is optional, you can download it if you want to, this will be inside my downloads, download map reveal and open interiors okay and then I'll open up the extract folder and then copy all three files inside the extract folder and then paste it inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder remember guys this is optional you don't have to do it okay but you can if you want to now all you guys got to do next okay is right click and refresh your folder right click again and create another folder and name that folder scripts S C R I P T and S. Press enter once 
and press enter again and you will be redirected to your Scots folder. Now guys, here is a trick, okay? I've been testing this mod on native UI.dll version 1.9 and version 1.9.1. Now this mod does not support version 1.9 and 1.9.1. I have tested this mod so many times on these two native UI versions and they do not work. The only version that works which is the old version which is version 1.8. So this mod only supports version 1.8. So all you guys got to do is download native UI.dll inside my downloads inside my description and now you guys can download that that native UI will be version 1.8. So you guys are lucky that I still got this version. Just to let you guys know too, if you guys want to know how to sort out your mods and sort out your script folder and etc. Then I do have another video inside my description below on how to sort out your mods. Okay guys. So I hope that this does help you. So. Open up your native UI extract folder, then I click on native UI.dll and drag it inside your scripts folder. Now, right click over here, okay? Right click on your file, go to properties, go to details, and as you guys can see, it is version 1.8. Now, guys, what we are going to do next, okay, is that we are going to install the custom paired mod. So all you guys got to do, okay, listen very carefully because there's a few things that we are going to do. Copy all files, okay, all of them, and now drag it onto your scripts folder. Now, over here, okay, inside your INI file, custom pins, okay, right click and edit with notepad. Now, it says here, start key. Now the key to open up your menu is zero, okay, is circle, okay. So you must change the key, okay, guys, because it is a bit buggy. So guys, you must change your key. So I'm going to change my key to F12. Guys, you must change the key, okay, because I tried it with zero and it did not work, okay. But I tried it with F12 and it did work. So guys, you must change your key, okay? So once you guys have finished changing your key to F12, F11, F10, whatever you want, okay? Then save your key code, and then that's all you guys gotta do. Exit out of your notepad, and then go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder, right click and refresh your folder, and then now I'll see you guys in the game. And now we are back. We are back as Franklin. And now what I'm going to do is show you guys the menu that it does work. Okay. So here we go, guys. Remember, I showed you guys how to install this mod inside a clean folder. And it does work. Okay, guys. So here it goes. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Press F12. That was my key code. Is F12 right now. See, guys. And it does work. So go to player menu, I can go to dresser room, clean myself, girlfriend um, menu, I can reload her if I want to. So um, go to player menu, dressing room, I will teleport to, there you go, and now I can just change my character to female if I, if I want to, or male if I want to. This menu, okay guys, this mod menu is like add-on pairs and all of the other peer um, menus okay okay so yeah guys you can change them to your to yourself to your cop or army person or add-on peers is over here you can change yourself to max one if you want to um so yeah uh but i'm not gonna go through the whole thing okay guys because it's it's kind of long to do it so yeah so i'm going to exit out of here uh, go back now okay press f12 go to girl girlfriend menu uh oh no no i don't want i don't want to recreate oh okay never mind 
Well, I've got her right here. She's with me. Um, and then now I can bring up my guns and then she'll bring up hers. Uh, and then over here you can do some stuff. Press F12 again. Interact. You can chat with her if you want to. And now uh, the special is like, um, you, you guys know what I mean, eh? You, can, you guys can do all this stuff, okay? But I'm not gonna do it, okay? I'm just going to go over the whole thing so you guys know what you can do with your partner. So you yeah, guys, that's the mod, okay? It's a simple mod, okay, guys? So I hope you guys do enjoy it. So I hope you guys do enjoy that mod, okay? Um, it took me a while to try and figure out how to fix the menu, but I finally uh, figured it out, okay? It was the native UI and it was the zero key code. So make sure you guys do have native UI version 1.8 and make sure you change your key code, okay guys? Make sure you guys do that, okay? So with that all said, okay, I hope that this video does help you guys out, okay? For those who is requesting for the for this, for this video and I'm very sorry guys okay I know my voice is so strange okay but it's just my accent okay but with that all said guys I hope you guys do enjoy this video if you guys did then smash that like button and subscribe for more daily gaming content and tutorials and I'll see you guys on my next video thank you for watching peace and I'm out